All right. Let's get it going. Now what that loads, just for one second, just going to check one thing quick. Okay. Let's Octopath it up. Um. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just like jump right into the Albrecht's fight here. Like, we may lose this, I don't know. But I figure we've gotten strong enough, we're, we're ready for another attempt, at the very least. I don't remember if we've seen this, so we'll, we'll watch. Second place is out of the question. <laughs> Ain't never seen the girl this ad shaded before. You put a fire under her, that's for certain. <laughs> Why shouldn't I be agitated? He beat the reigning king, the one who said he was all but invisible. By the gods, the devil can take me if this black knight thinks he's the match of a king slayer. <laughs> what? Is something the matter? Do you know something about this black knight I don't? Truth be told. Whatever this black might may be, judging by his previous fights, he stands the equal of any king. Indeed. Indeed. Now you tell him, Albrecht. Least of all against the one who was trained in the sword by Erdhart. They don't know who Erdhart is. Come on, Albrecht. I shall fight with all my strength, and if the gods will that it is not enough, then so be it. Agreed? No, I don't agree to that! It's a terrible agreement, Albrecht. <laughs> Ouch! Coming up! No! Greetings. Oh, we're coming for you, Gustav. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Airhoff taught Gustav. Okay. Indeed. Prepare yourself. Begin. I will not fail. Let your wounds be healed. 
got it, don't worry. Let's do this! Okay, maybe we could've used a different weapon for that. Coming, if thou darest. Are they weak to bow? Oh, we already know they're not weak no. to bow. I knew that. I'll not be defeated. Um. Boy, yeah, no, I'll use heal more. Let's just or heal wounds. Let's just be safe. Albert took a little bit of damage there. Letting my arrow fly in true. That he gets to go twice like that. What next? <clears throat> All right. Um. There's so much How damage. Very good. Let your wounds be healed. That's it, that's all you got. Let my arrow fly at you. Yeah, that's the guy we want right there. The battle is truly joy. So we're slowly breaking them down a little bit. Could take a little more to get them, but... It's good to be able to check with her merchant skills, basically, how much health they have. That's what we're doing. What next? Try to 
bug away on that guy. And she's not gonna go for a while. No, she will not. Lesson the hunt yeah. beginning. I know it seems like a strange move, but otherwise she wasn't gonna heal for a very long time. Let 
There's someone that had, like, the ability to, like... Not BP. Is there a way that I could, like, give SP from character to a character? I thought I could. Maybe I can't, and I'm crazy. Lesson to hunt, beginning. My arrow fly in truth. Let's see. Nice, he's weak to both. That's pretty huge, actually. What's Let my arrow fly in. Yeah. How about you? 
future won't be here. Let in my arrow. Very cool. It's my turn now. Oh, it is. But we're just gonna do basic Let's attacks this turn. Letting my arrow fly in two. <laughs> that shackle foe, fantastic. Like he picked on her three tags in a row, only took off about Coming. half her health. Yeah. I guess great. here sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we wanna... Okay, yeah, obviously we're gonna go ahead and be like... Oh, Kite Shield? How about Gustav's Shield? Yeah, how about that? 
That looks like a pretty fantastic thing. You're welcome, Tressa. Just make sure we do a quick save here. To the end we go. Ah, welcome. Make yourself comfortable. A deal's a deal. You want to find Earhart, and I'll honor my side of the bargain. But let's take it slow. There's much we have to talk about, you and I. Okay. If you say so. But what about? Sir Earhart, of course, and what I know of him. I'm listening. Now, where to begin? Tell me, Sir Ulberic, are you familiar with the land from which Sir Earhart hailed? Some border town in the far reaches of Hornburg. Or so he once told me. Aye, a peaceful village called Grind. At least it was till it was raised in the war. Mm, that sucks. <sighs> It was long before Lord Earhart became a knight that he lost his home. After that, he joined a band of sellswords for a spell. It was there he got an idea in his head. And so, he finally came to serve Hornburg and the Crown. As a spy. Oh, preposterous! You mean to tell me that Earhart meant to betray us all along? Yep. His eyes always burned with fire when he told the tale. The King of Hornburg turned his back on us, he'd said, and sat on his ass as our homes burned. Nonsense. King Alfred cared for all his subjects. He would never... Lord Earhart claimed otherwise. Either way, he was a man on a mission. If that's true... Means he'd been plotting the downfall of Hornburg for years. Revenge is made all the sweeter by the passage of time. How sweet it must have been for him when Hornburg fell at last. I don't pretend to admire his deeds, nor claim they are honorable. But then. I've never known the pain and anguish Sir Earhart was forced to bear. Though I wonder sometimes how it made him feel to see justice done. If winning his revenge put his heart at ease. I never asked him, and he never told me. But of all the men in this world, may happy to tell you. We'll take that. You look up to the man, don't you? He taught me to be a true warrior. And I dare say he was a friend as well. I know of little else but the ways of battle. Whatever his sins might have been, I was proud to call him a brother. As was I. Thank you. Happy to have the company and a willing ear. You'll find Sir Earhart in the desert town of Wellspring. Okay. That's where we're going next, I assume. You do. Well, I trust you'll do what's right. Even if that means I slay him? Your friend, your mentor, your brother? If that is what you believe he deserves, I reckon he'll accept his fate. And so will I. Whatever the cause he fought for, it does not excuse his deeds. He slew the king he had taken a sworn oath to protect. I will listen to what he has to say. That much I can promise you, but no more. I don't think Ulbrich's gonna do it. Does Gustav have the right of it? Did Earhart wield his sword for the sake of revenge? If so, does he still wield it, even though the thirst for vengeance has been sated? Could it be that we are the same? Has Earhart, too, lost his purpose? 
I suppose we're gonna find out, aren't we? Head east out of town, okay. Hey! Where are you running off to? What does it matter? The tourney is over. Our bargain is concluded. It is, but that doesn't mean we can't bid each other Godspeed. Phew. Got you in the nick of time. We won't let you go sneaking away without so much as a fare thee well. Of course. Pray forgive my manners. Oh, Albrick. I could not have gotten this far without you. Oh, I have no more Both coffee. You. Boo. You have my thanks. And you have ours. So, if I can be so bold, where are you off to next? The Sunlands. A town called Wellspring. To finish what I started here. That? I don't knows, know. Man. Perhaps I'll return to the village I came from before here. Well, if you've already got a place to call home, then maybe this means nothing. But if you're looking for a new line of work, you could do worse than being a full-time champion. <laughs> the offer is welcome, but it's not the one. That, but I had to ask, huh? If you ever have a change of heart, just drop on by. Or even if you don't, you'll always be welcome here. Thanks, Ned. Thank you, friend. I may do just that. In the meantime, take care of those wounds. Yeah, he will. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Cool, 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 cool. Find and fit soon enough. And ready to give a good show at a next year's test. Showing now, there's an inspiring goal. If you want to stick around in my stable, I'll see you claim the throne. Oi, oi, one step. Oi, oi, he's a pig. I ain't the unbending blade of Holmberg after all. <laughs> a title and a crest do not a swordsman make. I true enough. Maybe I will go and win it all. <laughs> See what the betters will say about that. Yeah, Ned, you tell, tell you what. If they crown Ned King, you come back and we'll put on a duel the likes of which the city's never seen. Sure, Ned. I'd like that very much. But today, the road calls. Till our paths cross again, my friends. Cool beans. And so did Ulbrick leave Victor's Hollow behind him with new knowledge of Erdhard's past and present. Now Ulbrick must find Erdhard and, God's willing, the truth. Even if it means crossing, crossing blades with his erstwhile friend. And so the Sunlands and the Desert Oasis of Wellspring. And so to the Sunlands and Desert Oasis of Wellspring. Ulbrick's journey continues. Yeah, it does. Ahead and hit the uh, hit the end here quick. Next, uh, we use a couple items. Why don't we just like head to the item shop here quick? Hit the shop. I use a couple of these. I use a couple of those. Should do more of those. Cool. All right. Excellent. Excellent. That was a good one. I know it's a little short for a chapter, but, um, what is it? 
like 40 minutes. But it's a good stopping point just because we finished that up. Like, where's uh, where's this town that Ulbrich was talking of? Where his next area is. Oh, that's way over here. Oh, I've been there. Okay. Some of these, like, level 24. 21. But she is just terrible, so there is that. I'll at least head out this way. And yeah, maybe we'll have better luck out here. Okay. That was a good chapter. Albrecht's chapter 2 is now done. Very good.